What's up, Philly? It's your girl, Nash, your favorite host of Philly Rewind, of course, where I chill out on my awesome swing and I recap for you all last week's hottest topics right here in Philadelphia. Let's get right into it, shall we? So this story may be a little biased for me only because I am an avid shopper at this corporation. Whether you pronounce it Target, or for some of you fancy schmancy people who pronounce it Target, they just announced that they are opening a 19,000 square foot location in the revitalized Center City area. Yes, I am so excited. You know, because you can never go in for just one item. You always come out with like a cart full of things. Well, get ready because the new location is set to open around 12th and Chestnut next summer 2016. Summer can't get here fast enough for me now. I'm so excited. So if you're one of the lucky 4,500 people to attend the highly anticipated dinner on Blanc this past Thursday, then you already know that the unexpected rain showers did not disappoint. Dinner on Blanc is an event put on every year where you bring your own tables, your own food, and your own chairs, and everything has to be white, including your ensemble. This year, ponchos and umbrellas were an added accessory. Make sure you check out the quick John segment on mynewphilly.com. I think I said that right, John. I don't really have a Philly, Philly accent, whatever. <laughs> they straightened up their act and Gay Pizza is back. The spot known for their delicious late night slices has just been revived and reopened. The Capelli brothers, who own this restaurant on 13th Street in the neighborhood, just did a soft launch where they actually gave away 200 slices to all their happy and excited customers. Now, if you haven't been there, definitely go check it out. I know I'm going, I love pizza. <laughs> Congratulations to the Paseo Verde apartment complex in North Philadelphia, which was just crowned this past Tuesday project of the year by the US Green Building Council. This organization named its winners for the Lead for Home Awards and this Temple University area property topped the list. Couldn't get away from your desk this past week, then you missed the surprise announcement that Stevie Wonder did three pop-up concerts in three different cities in what seemed like only a three-hour announcement. Of course, Philadelphia was one of them, and he performed at Dilworth Park where it was jam-packed full of Stevie Wonder fans. The surprise? He even brought out Jasmine Sullivan. How cool is that? Too bad for some of you who just couldn't get away from your desk. I promise you it was a great show. I was there. This is cool. I'm gonna check out Gay Pizza though. I think they have like better slices. Still gonna tear this up though. <laughs> 